Believe it or not, some people in the demo scene said that there wasn't any other time to do anything else with this mega multicolor mode. So I did something else. Uh, so this includes a horizontal and vertical uh, kind of like squishy offsets. So basically it's looking up into a sign table, which gives this nice wavy kind of like scaling in and out effect. So there's vertical scaling and also horizontal offsets. Obviously parallax can be done because I'm scrolling the foreground screen now, which is the standard, you know, Commodore 64 text screen, or it could be a bit map screen. Some people were saying that the sprites were fake as well because they weren't moving that fast. So I also increased the sprite speed. So the code updates are fairly simple. Uh, so it was just waiting for the last raster line and then doing this kind of like semi unroll um, screen and color ram copy every uh, eight pixels in the hardware uh, pixel X scroll registers for the VIC. Um, then there's also some updates into a sign table to basically manipulate the horizontal scroll position and also the vertical position of the lines which are selected from the image data. So that allows, you know, vertical um, free scaling, if you like, or kind of like that squishy effect that you saw. And there's just the two sign tables in memory there. Uh, I just moved the code all the way up at E000 or E1000 in hex. Um, so yeah, anyway, so somebody asked how I convert the images. So I use image magic. I've also put the command line uh, options that I use in the source file. And of course, I will check in this updated source file and the updated PRG into my GitHub repository. And I'll put a link in the video description below. But yeah, that's image magic. Image magic is great because it contains all sorts of um, dithering and image remapping options and palette options and scaling and all that kind of stuff. I don't need to write it myself. So here's the input image that I used, which is of course from, I think, the Deluxe Paint uh, demo files on, on the Amiga. I think it was anyway. And, and so, yeah, I just run the command line options. Uh, so I use the remap option. So the remap option basically remaps the input image to uh, all of the colors in a specific image. So I'm remapping it to the Commodore 64 palette there and then just saving it out to an output file. So if I open the output file, you'll be able to see what it looks like now. So the um, input Deluxe Paint, I think it's Deluxe Paint demo image, um, is now remapped to Commodore 64 colors with dithering. Uh, I remap it to a 256 by 200 screen, and that's because, well, it scrolls or it you know, selects the horizontal scroll exposition from anywhere to, from zero to 255. So I ha then have this tool here, which is just a simple Python script which takes an input palette image. It then produces palette indexes from that palette image. And then it also remaps the input image, which was output from image magic and you know, scaled and color remapped. And then it just remaps in that into Commodore 64 indexes. And that outputs that to an act.bin file. You can see there it outputs the um, Palette, which was which it was able to read from the input palette file as well, which is the Commodore palette file, Commodore 64 palette file. The output file has a couple of bytes at the beginning for width and height, and then it's just pixel data. Uh, that output file is then included just in the source file, just as a great big binary blob there. And then of course, mega screen data is just referenced uh, apologies if you can hear the, the drilling or sawing going on in the background. Somebody is renovating their house. Anyway, so yeah, that's just the code. And it was, you know, quite a simple code update. It shows that there is ample time for doing lots of extra effects, not just simple scrolling. So yes, if you like these kind of technical deep dive videos, then please do consider liking or subscribing to this channel or sending me a super thanks. They are always very much appreciated. I have an itch project page where you can download my software and optionally send me a nice donation, which is always appreciated. Take care, have a great day, evening or night.
wherever you are.